That looks painful. There's probably a pill for that. Hey everybody, Troy here, back for another episode of Elite Dangerous, and in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Anaconda and its new rescaled interior. I'm going to go ahead and see if the gold paint looks any different now with all the new lighting and materials and fog and reflections and all that stuff, and see if it actually looks like gold. And I want to also take a look at the first of the new huge weapons that I'm going to be taking a look at. And it was kind of hard to decide which one, because you, you guys watched any of my videos, you know that I like beam lasers and that I like multi-cannons. And I happen to have two new weapons, one of them, three of them, but two of them happen to be a new beam laser and a new multi-cannon. So it was kind of hard for me to decide which one I should do next. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the multi-cannon in this video. And reason for that is I think actually that it is going to be the best of them it's well it's obviously going to be the most power efficient as far as the weapons capacitor is concerned so let's go ahead we're going to grab the anaconda right now that I have in storage and uh, I think it's currently set up as something else I think it's a miner if I remember right because I was testing that out and found it to be completely underwhelming but let's go ahead and check it out. So first I want to take a look at the interior, and then I'm going to be taking a look at that paint. Then we're going to find some trouble after I get it fitted, and see how it performs. Just a quick, dirty video. Excellent. Alright, so let's take a look. Because they said they rescaled the interior so that the seats and the screens looked better aligned. So, I mean, I guess still really far down there and so is the keypad and it looks like there's a little bit more room off to the right side of that pilot seat and the seat looks a little different I don't re seem to remember that that pillar was there down at the base and the base itself looks a little bit different Uh, I mean, it looks a little bit different. It does look a little bit bigger in here. But, again, why is that keypad beneath their feet? I'm not really sold on that and that screen. I don't know. I just... I mean, if it was a projection screen that, like, you know, all minority report up in the person's face and they had, like, a little keypad off to the side of their, their seat, I'd be more behind this concept but it just it doesn't look right it doesn't look right like if I had my keyboard underneath my feet and I was looking at a screen right there yeah you know like no we have heads up heads up displays everywhere else I mean I suppose they do when they're sitting in the cockpit but I don't know it just seems like such a weird screen weird screen anyway so that's that that's good so let's go ahead and check out the paint. It's definitely shinier. Definitely shinier. I like that it looks metallic now, because it should have looked metallic from the beginning. But it definitely looks metallic now. I don't know about gold, but it looks metallic. <laughs> kind of looks... I don't know. It has to be... Okay, there we go. We got some gold there. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, kind of? I, don't, I, I guess we're going to have to get it out. Out to in space. That looks a lot better right there. So there's hope. 
It definitely looks more metallic now, though, and I'm happy for that. I kind of—I'm not gonna lie—I felt like a chump for buying this. So let's see if it looks any better once we get out there. The glass looks better on everything right now, and I like. Okay, so look at that. The back end of the of the port here looks different than it used to. I don't remember there being so many fans back here. Man, this camera is so slow. I really wish we could change how fast our camera moves. Really wish we had more control over the camera in this game. As a YouTuber, it would make my job so much easier and make the end product a lot cooler. But um, I don't remember there being three of these guys here. And I do not remember this structure over here, the, these pipes. I don't remember that. I don't remember this at all. I mean, I could have just completely missed it, but it looks new to me. I like it. I like it a lot, actually, and I like the little elevator thing going on there. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good angle for the gold to kind of start showing up. So, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, the it looks a lot better in here, and these lights look a little bit different, too. And, of course, we have the fog and that glorious lens flare. So, we'll see. We shall see. It already looks better. It's just to see how gold it is once we get it outside. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up, get that cannon on there, that multi-cannon. Let's see here. Yeah, it's definitely a mining laser. But yeah, I love those doors. Absolutely love those doors. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and play around with this. Hard points. Alright. First and foremost... Multi cannon. Uh, sort it by class. High to low. I really wish it would save that. Um, let's see here. Cannon is installed. We want the multi cannon. So it uses a little bit more power. Its boot time is the same. Its armor piercing value is lower. Its range is slightly lower. Uh, the damage per second is higher. The distributor draw is lower. The shot speed which I'm not sure is the correct term, is um, uh, faster, and the rate of fire is faster, obviously. So, let's go ahead and equip that. And I can get more information here if I read more. Yeah, there we go. The mass is lighter. That's cool. The, let's see here, armor piercing rating, they actually give us a number of 68. Again, why, all right, you know. Maximum range is 4,000 meters. It gives us the clip size. Oh, it shoots two rounds per shot. That's cool. Reload time is higher. Breach damage. The amount of damage a weapon will deal to modules within a ship if successfully breaching the hull is 3 damage. 3.1 damage, huh? Okay. Minimum breach chance is 40%. So that means at least 40% of the time you're going to hit the module instead of the ship. And a maximum chance of 80%. It's a kinetic weapon, obviously. So yeah, cool. I like all this new information. This is good. I bet you Cornelius is extremely happy about all this extra stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and buy it. Now, uh, beta prices are 10% of what they will actually cost. So this is probably a 40 million credit weapon. Which sounds about right. So let's see this. Ooh. Yeah, all right. We'll see. I have to see how it sounds. We'll have to see how it sounds. Okay. And uh, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and make this a combat build, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done with it. All right, everybody. As you can see, the Anaconda is decked out and ready to go. Now, 
I went ahead and um, fitted out for a theory crafted PVE build that I kind of came up with in my head when we were talking about the beta and the new multi cannons. And, well, I thought I'd go ahead and throw it together and see how it performs. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but we'll give it a shot. Kind of the whole point of testing everything, right? So as far as hard points go, I got the huge multi cannon. I have one, hu uh, one large beam laser, two large multi cannons two medium beam lasers, and just two small multi-cannons down at the bottom. Although I was considering putting uh, missiles or torpedoes here, but uh, just because I like the DACA, I'm going to go ahead and keep those there. So, utility mounts are all A1, or 1A shield boosters, all of them. So it's kind of a shield tank. And then we have our core internal. I got the 8A power plant, 7A thrusters, 6A frame shift drive, 5D life support, 8A power distributor, 8D sensors, and of course the standard fuel tank. Going into optional e internal, I have uh, two shield cell banks, two 6Bs, and uh, one of them is only one of them is running at a time. So it's not a it's not a PvP build by any means. This is a PVE centric build, and I wanted to see if it would. You know, somewhat balanced, more focused towards combat, um, PVE build. So that's what I'm going for here. Six, uh, two 6B shield cell banks, one cargo rack for 64 tons of capacity. Um, let's see here, two 5D whole reinforcement packages. And cool, look at this, how it gives you plus 2, 5, 2.5%. So it actually tells you now, that's really cool. Uh, fuel scoop, I have a 5A because I don't like waiting. A 4... D, whole reinforcement package, a 4A frameshift drive interdictor, and a 2G planetary vehicle hangar, because why not? And of course, our planetary approach suite. And then, that's really much it. So, not much... I mean, it's not really a, a build to talk about, but it's a pretty... I think it's a pretty well-rounded, combat-focused... Um, PVE build. I think it'd be pretty good for, um, you know, collecting things that we might want to collect, doing a little bit of looking around on planets, and seeing if you can grab any, you know, free gold or something like that while you're at it. And we'll kind of see. We'll see how these work. Because, again, I don't know how well the large multi cannon or huge multi cannon works. So, and I don't know how huge, uh, large ship combat actually works right now either. So, we'll see. But let's go ahead and get into some trouble now. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my hunting grounds here, and we'll see how this does. Go ahead and go ahead and let that other anaconda out, and in the meantime, see what this looks like in the station. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It's gold. It is actually gold now. Alright. Excellent. That, that looks much better. Much better much better. Finally, the skin actually looks good. Awesome to hear. Ooh! I don't remember that in the patch notes. They changed the boost note of the anaconda? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Everybody hold it! We have to hear this again. We have to hear this again. Hold on, hold on. Let me press the button. Oh! Frontier, have you have you heard? Have you listened to my plea to make the anaconda sound awesome? I have like tears forming in my eyes. Never cared about your speed limits anyway. All right, let's see here. Um, what? We gotta do it again, guys. We gotta do it again. Oh my god! Oh, I could stir concrete right now. 
Oh, and the reflection on the bow? Oh, that's awesome. Let's see if that stays there. All right, let's turn on the lights. Oh, it does stay there. Oh, it changes with the camera. Those little, the little lights, the blue, they look so much better now. I didn't realize they looked bad before, but I can see now that they look a lot better. Did they add two new headlights to the front of this thing? I don't seem to, I don't think I, those were there before. And the, the gold is gold, it's metallic gold. Yes. Uh oh. I'm moving forward right now. Why do I not have thrust? I didn't throttle to zero. Oh, well, there's a bug. It's the best thing about the Anaconda. I love those turbines and the flaps that open. I absolutely love that. Favorite thing about this ship. And there are a lot of things I like about this ship, so it's saying something. I love that. And it looks a lot cooler now. Alright, we gotta hear it one more time, guys. That is so cool! Oh man, you guys in the sound department, man, you're killing it. You're killing it, man, it's so good. So good. Oh, golf clap, everybody, golf clap right now. Oh my god. Ah! So good. So good. Alright, let's go get in trouble. They also changed uh, shield cell banks to where even if you have multiple ones of them turned on, if you hit the button, it only fires one of them at a time, which I'm fine with, but I was never a competitive PvPer either, so. Oh, it's on. Okay, now I have a separate hard point here with just the huge cannon on it so we can hear what this sounds like. Is this guy going to come sniff my butt? No, but you might. No, okay, good. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. Not sure if I like that. I mean, it, it doesn't sound Sound's awful. Ah, oh, God, you. Ooh, there's an anaconda. Okay, what scanned me? You scanned me. I don't care about you. You. Oh, federal agent, you're gonna open fire on me. Oh, thank you. You're gonna attack me. You guys are freaking. I can't do anything about it. Oh, well somebody else did something about it. Aha! I have allies. He's wanted. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Do your duty, man. I'll leave you alone. Alright, you're a pirate.
Let's see how much damage this does if I hit him. Really wish the uh, security services would give me a break here. Didn't seem to tickle. Ooh, yeah. That's not bad. Wasn't bad. But of course that guy ran me off on a wild goose chase. So I'm all the way out here now. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I think they should only go so far from wherever you're at. Alright, let's test the full power of this battle station. If you have a target, a military target, then name the system! <laughs> Hope you like lead. Oh, not you two. Yeah, this is annoying in a large ship. Let's see if I can trick him to coming back.
Come on now, I can't shoot past the system security and catch up with you at the same time. That is really annoying. That is really annoying. I mean, it's true to form. They would run from you. I know this, I've chased people down in my anaconda before. Actual people. And they do this. Although, to be fair, at 16% he wouldn't turn back around to face me. There's a certain point where they go, nah. I'll see what I can do anyway. I'm just gonna kill that guy. Let's see, is there anything bigger that I can fight? Oh, this is really annoying. Yeah, you guys can all do your thing. I'm gonna go back here and try to find a bigger target. I mean, they can keep that combat mechanic if they want, but if they do, they're gonna have to make it to where if you're in a bigger ship, bigger ships spawn. I'd be fine with that. Oh. Oh, all right, here we go. Finally, something something my size. Let's see how this. Well, not really, but let's see what this is like. Are you seriously gonna run away from me at 1%? Because that's that's really bull. Yeah, this mechanic is annoying. Frontier, this needs a little bit of work. Not much, but it does. Let's see if I can. I hit it reverse, he does turn around. But he's getting ready to anyway, so. Alright. Laser? What are you? No. I like the build. I think the the multi cannon's awesome. I really like it. Um, I I don't know. I think it needs to be a bit louder. It needs to be a bit louder. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be the you know like you know one of those, kind of like on the warthog. But uh, eh, what are you gonna get? The 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 way it works right now, it's good. I just wish it was louder. You know, it doesn't feel authoritative in its strength, you know? Could just be me, though. But I think it could sound a bit more badass. You're in a wing of three? Oh, that'll be fun. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this mechanic ruins it for me. I have to admit it. I don't... I don't like combat in a large ship. This really bums me out. If they made it to where more ships my size would spawn that were wanted, I mean, uh, like 90% of the ships I would encounter while in a large ship would be large ships, then I wouldn't have a problem with it. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have a problem if there was a wing of two anacondas or three anacondas that you know would show up and give you a run for your money. But right now, I mean, the combat hasn't been challenging. It's been annoying. In a small ship, it's a lot more fun and a lot more challenging. Like in the Vulture, that was fun. That was challenging. But in a large ship, it's annoying. So, Frontier, you guys, you got, you're onto something. It's just, it's a little too much. Like, if they would only travel for so long before going, oh, they're not going to, they're not going to leave me alone. I'll just turn around and fight it out. And you only have to chase them maybe the one time, or if uh, you had more ships of your size and speed show up, or, uh, you know, relative speed, you know, they can still be faster than you, but at least it's a close chase. They don't just get away from you and you had two seconds to do damage. Or if they wouldn't react to your approach like that and you could surprise them, like I tried to do with that adder. Like, there needs to be ways of getting around their speed. Hitting them by surprise. Do a little. Okay, you're in a sidewinder. I have to blow you up. It's principle. Sorry, I had to. Anyway. Alright, where did that go? Ship cargo is empty. Alright, it went into my materials thing. So that means I have to share the space of all the stuff I've ever picked up on a planet's surface with this new stuff. Yeah, that's 300 is not enough at all. Cuz I dumped a lot of this stuff to make room and then I dumped more of it just because and then I used some of it because I was getting bored of having it and not doing anything with it. So, yeah, we need more than 300 capacity, a lot more. Or a place to sell them, a place to buy them and uh like a market for these things would be amazing cuz some people, you know, like a trader, for example, likes to buy raw materials and sell them, right? So anybody who's a trader in this game would want the option to just buy this these things and maybe there could be a whole market for them where, you know, people, miners, people who like to do the mining profession or the salvaging profession could find these things and sell them on a market for an inflated price. Like they could be things... Oh, God. Who's next? Oh, okay. No, you're going to be annoying. All right. So, um, yeah, if they had a way that you could find these things and sell them on the market for an inflated price, that'd be a really good thing for, for miners and for, um, um, hey, smugglers would even get a good rap for that. But miners and salvagers, scavengers, firefly enthusiasts, they would be really happy with something like that. Um, they would be really happy with something like that. I, the salvaging profession really needs to be fleshed out a lot towards kind of a jack of all professions, if you will. I mean, it would have trading in it. You'd have salvaging as itself. You'd have, um, smuggling if it's whatever you find is illegal. I mean, you could do so much with the salvaging profession. So, so, so much. And I'd like to see it fleshed out more. And there's a, there's a good way you can start. Um, make it to where there's a market for these things where you can buy them and sell them. Um, but anywho, yeah. Combat, though. Combat in a large ship does not feel good at all. That needs to, that needs to get fixed. Scooping is a lot easier now. I like it. Oh, yeah, 
Uh, look at all that dust and the fog. Very nice. Dust and gas, man. Dust and gas. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that'll do it for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the new weapon, but I think ultimately they need to work on sh combat if you're in a large ship. I don't think it's where it needs to be. I think the cannon is awesome. I just wish it was a little bit louder. Uh, maybe a bit more, you know, bassy or something. You know, it just, it needs just a little bit more authority to it. Um, I think the damage is fine on it. From what I can tell when I get a hold of somebody, I really wish I would have come across an anaconda or something, but well, you might see that again in the future. I'm sure I'm going to be using these weapons. But first impressions with it, I don't, I think really the only thing wrong with the cannon is the sound, and I think the combat is really what's making it more of a bummer than anything else. On a small ship, the combat is fun. The chase is fun. But in a large ship, it's just, all right, I took down your shields. Let me wait for however long, a minute, and then you're going to get your shields back, and then we're going to do this dance two or three more times. And, uh, you know, I, I suppose there's there's some ways around that where you could build your build to be really burst-oriented. Um, zoom and boom, as it were, would be a little bit more effective because that's all about burst damage at speed. And it may, it gives a little bit more of a reason for larger but faster ships like the Cutter to be used in combat, even though... It's not a combat ship at the moment, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I I think it would be better if they had it to where they only ran once, and then they just gave up trying to run after you stayed with them for a while, and then they just actually fought to the death. Um, even still, that would be annoying, because you would know every fight you're going to have one run sequence, so maybe make it a chance, um, or make it to where more ships your size and around your relative speed happen so you still have that chasing aspect like you do in the small ship but you do it in a big ship instead i think that'd be good a for bounty hunting so you'd make more money um because you'd be fighting bigger ships which your pay should scale as you get you know more larger better equipment your pay scale i think should also scale along with your ship size it makes sense your all your stuff costs more, including your insurance, it'd be nice if you got paid more for it, too. So, you know, I just really wish they'd, they'd scale the enemies better, because I you know, I saw, what, two pythons? Where's the anacondas? Where's the corvettes? Cutters? Come on, now. Um, I'm in, a, I'm in an anaconda. I'm rated elite in combat. You guys can wait your turn. Okay, so I'm elite in combat. I'm in an anaconda. Like, where's the scaling? So, scale the ships, the opponents better. Scale them per players. So, if I have a, somebody in my wing, make it to where twice as many enemies spawn. So, we don't actually take a hit. Or make it to where he gets paid just as much as I do. And I, we just have the fun of, you know, fly, flying around together. I'd like to see the difficulty rank up a little bit, too. You know, make it to where we don't have to sacrifice to play with other people. That's a big problem with this game, is that you have to give up pay to play with your friends. It should be more rewarding to play with your friends naturally. It shouldn't be less rewarding. And it is. So there's a problem with that. The scaling, the way the enemies are combating you depending on what ship you're in and what enemy spawn, what their rank is, what your rank is, how many people are in the wing, etc, etc. So those are things I think need to be fixed. Um, before this goes live, I think that large ship combat needs to be scaled down or make it to where they just don't run as far something something needs to be fixed with that because in small ships it's fun in large ships it's incredibly annoying that needs to be fixed um as far as the large multi-cannon or huge multi-cannon uh both the large and the huge multi-cannons actually have a little bit of problem with the audio the the large ones you don't hear the spin up and that way it's kind of hard to feather the trigger so you keep your weapons spun up. That way, when you get the when you turn on them, you're ready to do fire. Um, and the large one, I just wish sounded a little bit more authoritative in its power because I mean that's a big gun. You know, it should sound like a big gun, even though you know sound in space and all that stuff. But still, it's a game, and I would like to feel like that huge weapon I paid forty million credits for in the main game was awesome. You know, maybe 
something. I don't know. It needs to have a bit more authority to it, especially if it's going to have that slow fire rate. If it was a really fast fire rate, I'd be like, it's great. It's great. Perfect. But because it's a slow, powerful fire rate, I would like it to sound more slow and powerful. So that's it. Um, the quick and, you know, dirty look at this, um, at this, you know, the large the combat and the huge multi cannon and the anaconda now that it's actually gold and, uh, the lights look great. It looks good. It's a, it's a nice looking ship. Nice looking ship now. Even in here in the, with all the dust and gas and everything, it looks good. And the headlights look good. I like that. Just a couple of little, little things. It's these little details, and as, as they were making everything, they can also hurt it. So, Frontier, um, please, do, do a little something to the noises there. Not much. It doesn't need much. And, but the combat on a large ship and scaling opponents, that, that needs to be a priority. More so than the sound, obviously. That needs to be a priority. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm trying to, I'm going to edit this as short as I can because long videos take me a long time to make, take a longer time to upload. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll try to get another one out tomorrow. And, um, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. All of them. We're ready to enter the atmosphere. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit!